Hi, and welcome to TET, Thomas Explains Tech, where we discuss the theme of technological control and the issues it raises in today's society. Today, we're going to look at what you don't know about Google and your privacy on the internet. In the last decade, the increasing use of computers, phones, and tablets has allowed consumers to do and experience things in new ways. The use of the internet is perhaps the most used and versatile aspect of this technology. The internet has dominated social media, web browsing, shopping, and entertainment as corporations introduce new opportunities that, being humans, we are undeniably tempted to participate in. However, with our continued and rapidly growing support of these corporations, many of our actions on these platforms are being controlled as our data and privacy are stripped from us. Let's begin by talking about some of the many ways that companies use your data. One of the most common is the use of ads. If you've ever been on Google, researching the latest video game or makeup item, and then the next day while waiting for a YouTube video to load, you presented with an advertisement for that item, you're not alone. While this seems uncanny and unexplainable, in reality, it is but one example of how your usage of the internet is not private. Google, one of the largest technology and internet service companies, is specifically known for this. They connect their online advertising to make sure the viewer is most compelled to click on an ad. Google is not alone, as countless other ad services on the internet do the same thing with your data. In some cases, they use websites that you click on, and even photos you have liked on social media to promote specific ads to you. Similarly to this, here's another scenario. If you've ever googled places to eat, it will have, in a very short period of time, detected over 1 billion search results. Assuming you want to find this information out from a reliable source as fast as possible, you would have clicked on one of the first links, rather than the billionth link. So how does Google determine the order of those links? Well, just like the ads, they extract your data every time you click on a link and present the ones that people view the most. Next, let's talk a bit about how we are all guinea pigs on the internet. Well, not literally. However, whenever you click on or search something, websites, corporations, and even scientists use your data for their own research. Website owners can track how many people have clicked on certain links or viewed their videos and can modify their page as necessary. Here's another example. Data analysis can see how long you spend on apps such as Instagram or which posts you even liked on it. This next topic regarding technology controlling our lives, privacy, and data is our email. Many overlook this, however, 74 trillion emails are sent globally per year. That's trillion with a T. Looking once again at Google and their emailing service, Gmail, not only does Google analyze the content of emails you receive and send, but they allow third-party companies to do this as well. In a letter reported by the Wall Street Journal in 2018, Google's Vice President of Public Policy and Government Affairs for the Americas reported that, Developers may share data with third parties so long as they are transparent with the users about how they are using the data. And lastly, there are numerous ways that data can be tracked by official companies. However, there are also privacy threats on the internet of your data being stolen. This is the illegal side of the internet, where technology controlling our society is at an uncontrollable risk. Anonymous users online can use your data to share it on the internet or even steal your identity. As more and more people use the internet, as it becomes more available, this becomes a greater risk as your data and personal information becomes vulnerable online. The internet is a great place to learn and explore. However, there are things that you must keep in mind while you're clicking away on your computer. One that you should not ignore is that your data, once on the internet, is there forever. 
No matter what websites, corporations, or hackers exist, anything that enters the internet is there for the long run. This allows technology to control our lives in a way that has never occurred before in history. It makes you second guess where and how you use your technology.